Biffy, babe, you did it again. I missed three serves in a row. I tried to keep my eye on the ball, but all I could see was that gorgeous face of yours. <laughs> now, what a... Mrs. Martin, I didn't know you were here. accepting the fact that I am part of this family now. Over my dead body, you slime. Oh, Eduardo. My angel, are you hurt? I'm fine, but your niece needs some help. Oh, you despicable excuse for a man, Eduardo. How can you take advantage of my aunt like this? Oh, no one takes advantage of me. I'll have you know that Eduardo and I have an open... And perhaps you'll find this hard to accept. Passionate relationship. I will not allow you to assault the man I love in my home. And what about Langley? Isn't this his home, too? Langley has proven to be far more compassionate than you. Oh, my precious, should I get you an ice pack? Oh, I'll be fine. Please, you'll have to excuse this outburst. Oh, Miss Martin, please call before you come. Are you issuing instructions to me? You have problems with me being here. I'm here every day. I'd like some warning. Mr. Westfall, obviously you can see the writing on the wall, can't you? I, um... My aunt has been completely snowed by this... this... There she goes again. Oh, stop it, Brooke. This lounge lizard. Oh. Aunt Phoebe. Don't you have any self-respect left? You're a married woman. You are very well off. Don't you know what he's trying to do? Oh, Brooke, I know very well. Please don't push me. Do I tell you all the stories of the things that we do do oh. daily? <laughs> well, just don't push me, dear. Suffice it to say that I am deliriously happy with Eduardo. <laughs> he makes me feel so young again, and I... I wouldn't change him for anything on this whole earth. Oh, my darling, what can I do to ever make it up to you? Oh, well, of course, that. <laughs> but be patient, dear boy. There's plenty of time for that later. In the meantime, uh, why don't you take <clears throat> this? I'd go buy yourself something wickedly expensive and tight. <laughs> You are so good to me. Oh. I don't deserve you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Mr. Westfall, excuse me. I think I'm going to be ill. Oh. I do apologize for the uproar, Mr. Westfall. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Wallingford. No, it is not all right. It's terribly déclassé. I'll have to try to talk some sense into that niece of mine. I'll be in touch about the Willow Lake acres. I'll be waiting. Good. Uh, darling, do you think you might need any more money? I might. I would like that little red sports car. Oh, well, mm, done. Don't be too long, my pet. Oh, how could I be? <laughs> that was one of the finest cons I've ever seen. Yeah, well, it would take one to know one. Wouldn't it? I'm not sure I know what you mean. No, drop it, Westfall. You're trying to scam my meal ticket. I'm not sure I like that. I assure you, I, I have no idea. Listen, you me. loser. You think I'm going to walk away from the biggest money story I've ever found? I want you to know that Phoebe Wallingford is my pigeon. All right? I want you out of our love nest. You got it? My motives with Mrs. Wallingford are for our mutual benefit. Yeah, mine too. She gets exercise, I get rich. I'm in the service industry. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, see here, Mr... Call me Ed. Ed, I'm offering a pleasant, logical alternative to nursing home care for the seniors in this community. For a price. All good things have price tags, Ed, as you are well aware. How much is she in for to you already? 
Mrs. Wallingford hasn't chosen her condo unit yet, but when she does, we will settle the particulars. You're smooth. I'll give you that, Westfall. You are smooth. Trouble is, I'm smoother. And I don't want my society cow milked dry. Sir, Willow Lake Acres is going to be wonderful. Every aspect of its construction will use the finest materials, the highest quality craftsmanship. You ease up. I'm not buying. All right? And if I have my way, Phoebe won't be buying either. I wish I could convince you of my sincerity. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, just like I could convince you of my passion for this lady of the house. Now, I'm warning you, Westfall. You have her sign away her life savings, i.e. my livelihood, and I'll come after you. There's plenty of rich suckers in this town. You go find one of your own. Goodbye, Westfall. I won't be seeing you here again, I hope. Gone? Oh, for now. Oh, you were wonderful. Lant and Fontaine, Olivier and Lee. <laughs> nice work, Viv. Oh, not me, silly. I'm talking about you and Brooke, of course. Why, you two fell into that dance like two long-lost lovers. Phoebe, Which, of course, that's what you are, in fact. Cut back. it out. Oh, I tell you, you work together like a, a well-tooled machine. No action wasted. Your minds reading each other's all the time. Just think what you're missing by not being together all the time for real. Will someone tell me what was going on? What exactly did I walk in on here? And how did you get into those shorts? Well, Westfall backed down when I called him on being a scammer. Did he say anything incriminating? No, he just gave a wink, like con to con, until I told him to forget it, you know? Then he really backed down. I said, you want to pull Phoebe in for the cleaners, you're going to have to wait in line. Well, what do we do next, Eduardo? <laughs> well, I'm not sure, Phoebe, but it's uh, last time I get near Westfall without a wire. Oh, this is getting more delicious every moment. You know, if I can get something incriminating on tape, we'll close that sucker down before you can say Swampland. Ooh. I just have one question. Yeah. Where are you going to hide the wire? I don't think there's a lot of room in those shorts. I think all that metal might jam the frequency. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> you call me when you want me, lover boy. Oh, I always want you, darling. Oh, you two are pathetic. You are jealous. Ciao, baby. <laughs> no, seriously. Listen, do you think that you can maintain this cover with this guy? Yeah, I think, well, now that I have a supporting cast, it's a piece of cake. I'm not sure Aunt Phoebe is going to be able to control herself if you keep kissing her like that. Yeah, well, I guess we could cook up some reason for you to be my lover. I'm not in on this. Am I? Hey, you do great. I mean, there's no reason to back down. You want me to help you? You're very good at this, Brooke. Thank you. But what about the pact that we made that we can't work together? Which you initiated, I might add. I think these are extenuating circumstances. So you're in. Unless you want out. Listen, if you really want out of this sting, I completely understand it. You know, it wasn't that I didn't uh, enjoy myself. It was, it was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, you got to slap me and pretend it was for the cause. All right. Let's talk turkey. How do you think I can help you nail Westfall? Simple. You legitimized me today. You mean because I treated you for real, he thinks you are? Mm-hmm. Precisely. And we could use more of it. So what do you say? For the senior citizens of America. I'm in. Great. I am in for the senior citizens of America. And to see the next outfit that you squeeze yourself into. His nails, believe me, I promise you, he'll be making deals and causing trouble in no time at all. 